All of this for two boys? Where are my sons? Where are my sons? Yeah, look at Please video all of this for two years with no gun. And celebrate your album release party. You put it on there with eight million. Where are my sons? Hey, All of this for two boys. Where are my sons? Hey, now you can hear. Oh, bro. Oh, bitch, they got some goofy on the internet. Hey, get wait, stumped wait, out talking about this me. You know I That's what I'm trying to see, what they talking about. You know I, I see that. Yo. You know what I see that. I'm going to fucking die on Steel or Trail McGee. I ain't going out like these other rappers getting their ass stumped out. Hey, so who the nigga is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm listening. I just woke up and saw the screen, so I don't know nothing going on. I don't know those people. Yo, y'all know what it is, and y'all know exactly what it ain't. Look at this right here. Y'all seen that? Polo G just bought his mama or himself a $5 million mansion. Pretty sure he don't own it all the way. He still got a rent to own it. But look at that. Before I get into the video that we got today, I just want to ask this question. Who do you think is the richest rapper to come from Chirac in his new generation? So we can go all the way back to Chief Keef. We can go all the way up to Lil Durk. But Kanye West, Common, them people, them people do not count. We just going strictly far as like the new a new wave of drill rappers you can even throw in famous Dex if you think he made a lot of money but i believe polo g is the richest rapper of from chicago almost of all time besides chief keith because in just the amount of two years polo g got i believe got just as rich as chief keith richer than lil dirk way richer than lil reese and just the amount of two to three years but anyway as y'all see in the beginning of this video, I had some clips. I had Bad Man Kevo getting arrested. I had Polo G Mom going off on the police. And I also had Mimo 600 addressing the allegations of him getting jumped. Do we have a common denominator here, folks? Can anybody tell me what they see that all these rappers have in common? Okay, yeah, you're right. They from Chirac. There you go. I like that. They from Chirac. Okay, give me one more. Come on, give me one more. Y'all don't know? I, they... They all are in Miami, Florida. Listen, I know Miami is a spot to go for as far as like fornicating with your loved ones. Uh, I don't even really know what the word fornicate means. Somebody get in the comment section and tell me. Is it got something to do with cheating? Or is it kind of like when you and your girls go on a fancy vacation? I don't know. But, um, so yeah, I know Miami might seem like the spot to chill. Right now I'm out here in Chicago's Miami, the beach. I just go out here, the lakefront. You feel that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, I'm dropping my low pull up. I got that thing with me. And I got two bottles of Hennessy. We can either smoke it out or we can have smoke. But anyway, um, people like to go to Miami, Florida. Just people who got money. I don't want to say just Chirac rappers, but people with money go to Miami, Florida a lot. Lil Wayne moved from Louisiana to Florida. Same thing with the whole cash money camp. You know, it's a lot of big rappers from Florida. Rick Ross, um, the whole Jacksonville movement, that's in Florida. So people go out there to build connections because Miami's turning into another hot spot for music. You feel me? Miami's turning into, well, Florida in general. Florida's turning into a state where you can go there, you can live nice, it can be beautiful, you can enjoy the breeze, but you also get to make connections in the music industry that could take you farther than just being a local rapper in any city that you're from. So I think... Miami is not the place for Chicago rappers and the reason I'm saying that is because we not used to nothing We go out there. We go out there in the, in the beautiful Everglades whatever they want to call them and we just still bring them old ways with us sometimes now in Polo G's case I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure why he got arrested for like all, the case the charges that he got is stupid he got resisting arrest of an officer and if you look at his eye he had like a little cut right above his left eye so that shows me they tried to rough my boy up but polo wasn't going he hit him with the, uh, uh, uh. you feel me fall back 12 what's wrong with your pigs but the cases that he got was bs they would not stick i thought it was a gun charge the whole world reporting on oh my god polo g is locked up over misdemeanors Misdemeanors. I just did two years. Uh, I'm not gonna get into my own lesson. It's just a misdemeanor. He'll be good, man. He'll be good. He's coming home. He's gonna be able to finally put this in his rap. I finally got locked up. I did 12 years and had them bars. Well, 12 hours. My fault. I meant to say 12 hours. But like I was saying, um, my Florida. 
Florida isn't the place for shy rap rappers, in my opinion. Ben Man Kevin went down there and caught a gun charge. Mimo went down there and supposedly got punched on. I'm not sure if Mimo really got jumped. The dude in the video did look like Mimo 600. It did look like Mimo. But he didn't have any bruises on his face, so he ate. I'd lie to I die too. If I don't got no proof on my face that you just jumped on me, lie to you die. So you feel me? I just feel like right now, people should focus on going to Atlanta a little bit more. Just because the gun laws are a little more friendlier out there in Atlanta. And there's also Young Thug, Lil Durk, all these other Lil Baby, all these rappers you can go and mingle with. But um, yeah, in my opinion, Polo G didn't do nothing wrong. Um, from what I hear, it was he was outside, the police got a car that it was a gun there. And it wasn't a gun. Polo G got real irritated. Like, don't play with me, pretty much. If you're from Chicago and anybody play with you, it's like, it's hard to explain to the people on the outside city. So when somebody play with you, quote unquote, that's either think you think you a coochie cat, they don't think you about it, or they think you a pushover. So when people play with you, it's hard to control your emotions, bro, because especially if you know you're a tweaker. You can't tweak with a tweaker, bro. You're going to get dealt with. Seriously. But in this case, it was the police just wanted to pick on a rich black man. They seen there was too much going on. I'm pretty sure they did get a call about a gun being there because Polo G, I'm, come on, man. He don't got no ops in Miami, but he dropping the rakes a lot more than usual. So he might There's some GDs out there in Florida, Polo. You need to be cool. I like how he was coming in on the singing rap. Just... If you're going to get gangster, get gangster, bro. Just don't start disrespecting gangs all across Chicago. Look, get in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think. I'm gone. We gone. I yeah, we gone. <laughs>